Hello and welcome. My name is Heather. I am the Unveiled Psychic. I am here today to talk to you about the lessons that your past life is bringing forward for you right now at this time in July of 2020. I'm going to ask you to select a card number one, number two, or number three. While you think about that for a moment, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so that you can be the first one to know when my new videos become available. So these readings today are talking all about the lessons that your past life self is trying to communicate to you now in July. So take a moment and select your card. You are now going to look at card number one. The lesson that is being brought to you today is all about steep learning curves. From this previous lifetime, you had to learn very, very quickly. You would write a lot of information down and I can see that that is the lesson that's partially coming through today. It's talking about making notes, writing everything down, keeping track of your activities, keeping track of your thoughts. Everything needs to be noted down as it's coming to you. Whether you can do that through your phone or with a pen and paper, the guidance here really is to make sure you're carrying something with you at all times that you can make notes. What they're saying is that everything that is coming to you now, you may reflect back on in a week's time or a month's time or a year's time. It's how you are charting your progress between here and then. You are getting guidance, you are getting inspiration that is coming through very strongly. So they want you to write everything down, even if it doesn't make sense at this time, it will make sense to you later on. They want you to pay particular attention to the numbers that are coming up for you. If you're seeing repeated patterns of numbers, you want to take notes of those numbers and research those later. This is all important because it will have an impact not only on your spiritual growth and your pathway, but on your career pathway and where you would like to be headed. This is going to help you on that journey um, to get to where you want to be to succeed in life. Thank you for watching. That was card number one. Card number two. The main message that I'm getting here now is to have patience at this time. In the past, this previous lifetime is talking about the lack of patience and the desire to rush in and um, do everything without having proper training, without having the backup, without having fine-tuned your skills. So this card, the message that's coming through here is very much to remember that progress sometimes goes slowly, but your patience, your temperance will help you in the long run. 
they want you to know that everything that you're doing is fantastic. Everything that you're working on right now, you're doing the best that you can possibly do in the circumstances that you have. And that's all you can do at this time. So they're sending this message of patience through so that you know that they are watching out for you. Your spiritual guides, they are definitely around you. They're working with you. They're working with the universal energies. This is all foundation work that's going on right now around you in your life. You need to just be patient and go through the process. Everything is going to come right for you. I'm getting 6 to 12, so it could be 6 months to 12 months. 6 to 12 is the time when everything you're doing right now, it's going to be noticed, it's going to be picked up, and that is fantastic. That is when you will start to see that payback and those results. Thank you for listening. If you're enjoying the card readings, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you can be kept up to date when my new readings become available. So we're going to look at card number three now. The message that we're getting, this is from your past life energy that's coming forward right now to give you this guidance, is that you need to be fierce sometimes and that it's okay to show your claws. There's this feeling I know you're trying to be on that spiritual path where you are trying to take the higher road, but what they're saying is it's okay to be fierce because they want you to um, not be taken advantage of. They want you to really embrace this process, this opportunity that's being offered to you. They want you to embrace that and don't be afraid to stand out of the crowd. Don't be afraid to step forward and say, this is what I want. What they're saying is, if you don't do that, your shyness, your meekness will be taken as a weakness. So opportunities that come up in the future may pass you by. They won't be offered to you. So. The guidance here today is to remember it's okay to be fierce sometimes and to let people know exactly what you want to do, where you want to go in life, what you want out of a situation. Thank you very much for watching. If you need to return to this video, for further guidance, you may do so and select a different card or you may want to choose the same card. You can do that as many times as you need between now and the end of July. There will be a new past life guidance reading in August. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when that becomes available. In the meantime, feel free to check out my other videos with different tarot readings and oracle readings that are available for July. Have a great day.